that they do something something wrong. There's there's a there's a little word here that I'm hearing over and over again in recent days and yes, weeks yes, that yes. the Holy Spirit evidently is wanting to get through yes. to the body out there and to yes. the sinners out there, and we're all sinners. But first of all, let's just welcome yes. Merle from Waterloo, Iowa, Praise 33 God. years of age. Praise Frederick God. from uh, Van Nuys, California. Lavon from Texas City, Texas. Peggy from Albany, Georgia. Yes. Jane from Whittier, California. Colette from Kansas City, Kansas, Sandy from Paris, California, Bernadette from Binghamton, Binghamton, New York, yes. way, way up in New York, yes, Reuben yes. Uh, from uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, Praise Patricia God. from L.A., and Praise Benton God. from Long Beach, California, and just so many people, and now the phones are just all busy. If you get yes. a busy signal, don't be discouraged. Just hang in there for a few minutes, wait a few minutes, and if you just can't get through, there's an address on your screen. You can write to the, to the box office. Yes. But I have a feeling if you'll dial again, wait a few minutes, the, the, the lines will clear and you'll be able to get through. Yes. Pastor, what in the world? Where? I've got a theory I'm going to try on okay. you, and it, it, it may sound a little hard, mm -hmm. but there isn't a real church in the world that won't confess and admit that it's the pure grace of God that saves us. Amen. In other words, when we're in sin, we're lost, and when we come for the first time yes. to the cross, to the altar, we're baptized, we come into the body of Christ. Yes, yes, yes it's grace, it's yes. grace, it's mercy yes. that saves us. Yes. But then once we're saved, it seems like all of a sudden yes. it's law. It's, we're back under yes, law, yes. but the laws are never the same for the different church. Yes. Each yes. law, each church has, has a, a different, different set of laws yes. to keep me saved yeah. or to keep me in the good graces yeah. of God or my church or my pastor. Or what. Yeah, What's we, going on? We move so quickly from <laughs> Christianity and the gospel, and we make our churches a religion. Yeah. We, we move so quickly from the gospel, yeah. and then we try to... In, 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 in where we're really messing up is in this whole area of discipleship. <clears throat> what constitutes a Christian walk once you have been saved is where we're really messing up. Mm. The, the, these I, are me I'm with you. I'm with now you. those who say in a Christian walk constitutes no more sin. That's not biblical. Right. The, these are me. But let me, let me tell you where the problem is. Yes. And, and in, I'm talking in my own church now where I grew up. Yes, God forgives. Yes, the grace of God saves. Yes, yes, the blood covers. Yes, you're forgiven. Yes. But if you mess up, yes. now, now hear me for a minute. You, you mess up, then they open the book, and, and it does say in that Bible, no drunkard is going to enter heaven. Yes. So you go get drunk after you're saved yes. and after you're Christian. So right away, you ain't going to heaven. Yes. You, you, you see the problem? Yes. Now, uh, don't, don't write me on this, but let me give it to you. <clears throat> Just accept it. All right. No drunkard, no fornicator, no adulterer, no one will go to heaven who hadn't been saved. Okay. These are men. Okay. See, if a drunkard who is a drunkard tries to enter the kingdom who hadn't been saved, he can't enter. All right. But if he has been saved and then fell to that sin, the blood has forgiven him of that sin. It continues. It continues. Yeah. Yeah. I had a shower this morning. I don't want you to smell me. <laughs> Going to need another one tomorrow. I will, I will have a, a shower tonight before I go to bed. And yeah. I'll have another one in the morning. Yeah, yeah. And tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These are me. Now, no drunkard, no adulterer, no fornicator, if that's all to him, will enter the kingdom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But if he has confessed his sins, acknowledged his sins, and asked for the forgiveness, and his name is written down, it will never be taken up again, all right. even if he commits that sin again. Okay, now here's where we got the problem yes. again. All right, here was what used to haunt me, because I, I love my church, my church brought me to Jesus. Yes. I'll always love it and I'll always honor it. Yes. But it was, here was the fear. Here was the fear. Okay, I'm saved. I messed up. 
But the Word says, yes, even if you mess up, if I confess my sin, He's faithful and just to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness, yes. even after I'm saved. That's right. But I used to, as a little child, I'd be scared to death. Oh, Lord, I've sinned, but what if I sin and a little time passes here and I haven't yet asked him to forgive me, and Jesus comes, and now I'm going to be left, and I'm going to be well, lost. Well, you're all right because Jesus already asked that you'd be forgiven. I'm trying to find my handkerchief because I want to show you this. Now, here it is. Now, do you understand my point? I got your point. I've, I've gone through that same agony. <laughs> okay. As a child. Okay. Now, here it is. <laughs> this is salvation. You've just covered up your water glass. I've yet. covered okay. up my water glass. Okay. Now, you, you, you point out the spots on that glass now. Well, I can't see them. Because you're covered. Yeah. <laughs> that is your position with God. You're covered. Oh. You're covered. When the Lord looks at you, he sees only the complete work of Christ. Even if I've messed up, up yes, there a little yes, bit? Yes, yes, yes. He doesn't see nothing but the complete work of Christ. That's why Christ said, it is finished. Oh, Jesus. Now, that's your position. Okay. But that ain't your condition. Oh. Now, under here where nobody can see, <laughs> your condition ain't perfect. Oh. It is your position that's perfect. God has covered you with the blood of the Lamb. Okay. Everyone who accepts Christ is covered, a blanket covered. These people that work around here on TBN, aren't they covered by an insurance policy? Yes, sir. Blanket covered. Now, suppose some of them get sick. Aren't they covered? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the position is that the blood of Jesus has covered me. But that ain't my condition. Mm -hmm. Therefore, Soon as I'm saved, and I know we may differ at that point, but let's go along with me. All right. <laughs> the Holy Spirit begins a work under here. Okay. You see, under here, not visible, yeah, yeah. on the inside. <laughs> he's working on me. <laughs> Can't nobody see it. And every now and then he throws something out. Okay, okay. But, but in the meantime, I'm still covered, oh, and he's still working on me. Oh, Jesus. And then about 10 years ago, you know, up until 15 years ago, you know, I, I was quite profane with my mouth. Really? I'd cuss you out in a minute. A little slip of the lip? Yeah, no, no little slip. <laughs> it was a big one. <laughs> <laughs> of course. My members can call in and tell you right at the church, don't get me too mad. <laughs> <laughs> now here, cultural difference. Yeah. I came out of Texas. Yeah, yeah. And I came out where a few words weren't considered profane. <laughs> they were considered <laughs> emphasis. <laughs> I love it. But guess what? Guess what has happened to me? <laughs> now, and, 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 and when I used a profane word, I'm covered. I ain't lost because I, I, I said no profane word. All right. That's what his blood, what did he complete if he didn't complete my salvation? Oh, Lord. Now, guess what has happened in the last 10 years, Paul? What else came out? I ain't cussed in, in, in six, seven months. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I have it today. Because he's throwing it out. He's, sure. he's throwing it out. Sure, sure. He's throwing it out. Oh. Wait a minute now. He's throwing it out. Come on. He's throwing Come it out. And he's just working on it. But in the meantime, I'm covered. And it ain't, now, wait a minute. Wait. It, it ain't any of my business either. No, no, it ain't nobody else's business. NBC and nobody else's business yeah, yeah. to look under here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm covered. Yeah, yeah. And then what did, what did Jude say? What's going to eventually happen to me? Eventually, he's going to present me spotless. Faultless. Faultless. Oh. Without a spot on <laughs> To the Father. Now, now, now that's eventually. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's one day. But in the meantime, <laughs> oh, cover. Oh, I'm covered. Just as safe as I can be. <laughs> <laughs> ah, hallelujah. <laughs> Just as safe as I can be. Glory to God. Glory the blood of God. Jesus. Oh, Pastor. Oh, Pastor. we don't know what he did. 
We, we, don't, we, we haven't come into the full conscious. I tell you what's slipping back into the pulpits is that Jesus became a model of what we can become mm -hmm. if we follow him. Yes. That Jesus, the Holy Spirit, is here to help us to become like Jesus if we follow him. No, that ain't what he did. He covered us. No. <laughs> he covered us. His Thank blood you, covers all. He covers us. And everybody who accepts him is covered. Oh. Now, in the meantime, the work of the Holy Spirit, he that hath begun a work in you will perform it. Mm. And I'm a living witness, brother. Look, let's, let's, let's get something even more practical. Come on. 18, 19, 20 years old, I hated white people. Sure. Well, sure. And how could I not hate y'all? Yeah. 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 Reared in the South, brought up under unbelievable and ignominious suffering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know when I stop hating y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He's working on it. He's working on it. He's that, working on that it. That came out, didn't and it? And it just came out. It yeah. just came out. People say, oh, he'll show love white folks. That ain't the way I started. <laughs> That's the way it has come out. Okay, okay. That's the way it's come out. So I'm, I'm covered, and, 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 and what I'm trying to get over, I know the gospel, this, this so-called gospel is out here now. They, they said, ain't nobody covered. Mm. Well, then what did Jesus do? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. And what does accepting him do if it doesn't cover us? Mm. And this process is called sanctification. Yes, sir. Thus, I am sanctified, and I'm being sanctified. I am not what I used to be, but I'm not what I ought to be. Mm -hmm. And the work in the meantime, and that's all I'm required to do under here to get along with God is cooperate with the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the mess, the Holy Spirit is trying to get me to yield something here, and I, I fight with the Holy Spirit. Then I develop a spiritual problem, which is not the loss of my salvation. It may be the loss of my joy. Mm -hmm. It may be chastisement. Could be the loss of your health. It could be a whole lot of things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the worst things I fear is his chastisement. Mm -hmm. So let the Holy Spirit work under here. What, what, if, what, if, what if that's same thing he's tried again and again and again and it just won't come out got to soak it <laughs> <laughs> soak it <laughs> soak it yes yes i got a i got a corn here i've tried again and again you got to soak it. I'm, I'm saying that there are some things now let me let me give you another illustration that prayer 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 and again chastisement there are some things that the Holy Spirit warned me about years ago. There are some things the Holy Spirit warned me about years ago. I refused to yield. But when God got through with me, I begged God, here, mm -hmm. please, 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 please take it. Mm -hmm. Please take it. God's fully able. Mm -hmm. <laughs> God, God, mama was kind of like God. She had a <laughs> switch that was pretty able to make you willing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yes. See, see, God has a switch. If you're born again, now if you're a sinner, it, it won't, it won't no, make no, no difference. No, no. But if you're born again, God has a switch of chastisement that will make you willing. Yes. You will say, Lord, please <laughs> have it. Take it. <laughs> it's yours. Do you say, 